called Moses Supercharger. I come from Africa, a country is called Uganda, and happen to be the chair of the Joint Clinical Research Center Community Advisory Board. So my name is Dr. Frederick Kotieno. I'm the research director for Nyanza Reproductive Health Society, which is based in Kisumu, Kenya. So my name is Jonathan Paul Lucas. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. I work for the HIV Prevention Trials Network and also the Microbicides Trials Network. I'm in charge of community engagement. So my name is Prince Mikel from Malawi, Nilongi. Uh, I work with uh, LIGHT. So LIGHT is basically an acronym for Lesbian, Intersex, Transgender, and Electron. We're a trans community-led organization and we focus on HIV programming and uh, HIV programming and also social justice um, advocacy. Community advisory board play a major role of bridging the gap between community and researchers. Uh, CABS actually play another role of breaking down the science for the local people. That's what we do. Another thing that we do is to help the researchers recruit the potential participants that they want in their any kind of research. Uh, another important role that we play as community advisory board is to make sure that any kind of research that is taking place anywhere is safe for our participants. Yes, another important role is to explain the informed consent, break down the informed consent so that the participants can understand and participate in any clinical trial effectively. Involving our respondents and participants who are men who have sex with men and transgender work within our work is something that is very, very central and key to the success of our programs. And uh, we basically involve them from conception of ideas all the way to dissemination. I'm a person who has lived with HIV for more than 27 years. And I really love research because without research, I would be dead. So I encourage all advocates to champion uh, the advancement of research, safe research. We are just used as the means to the, as means to the end. Uh, mostly we are only involved in the trials themselves, they, they, themselves, but not like engage, engaging us from the grassroots where they, they where they are doing the research uh, trials, uh, design, and everything. Kenya, we were doing research with men who have sex with men, so they were a little hesitant at first. But once we introduced um, the need for the research, um, the prevalence of HIV among that population, the ethical uh, review boards, they totally understood. And so did the community. They were all on board. At first they were like, no, we don't want to work with these people. But once they understood the need, they were very, very open to the possibility of working with that key population. Those communities, they want to be involved in the research planning process. They want to be a part of the decision-making process. And so they're always eager to provide their input. Um, frustration comes when um, communities feel like you're moving research forward without their input. So it's, it's really critical that you get community advisory boards involved as soon as possible. So the community advisory board was involved all the way from protocol development, because they were part of that, then all the way to the oversaw the study implementation, and uh, they were actually involved them within dissemination. So the community advisory board meets quarterly, and in that quarterly meeting, basically they review where we are, they give advice on where we need to, and also they can meet ad hoc, especially when there are challenges that they feel we need to address as uh, scientists. One of the countries that we've done research with men who have sex and transgender women, we, the site approached it from the, the respect that a lot of men who have sex with men in these in Malawi, they also have wives. And so if we don't treat, or if we don't address the problem of HIV incidents among men who have sex with men, then it's also feeding into the HIV incidence and prevalence of uh, women of childbearing age. And so it's important that everyone who is at risk for HIV, um, their needs are addressed.